Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. A few months back, I published a video on how to make a roll-on perfume oil, using oil as the base. And then last week, I posted a video on how to make a body mist spray using an alcohol base. Both of those videos have been very popular, and after I published both of those videos, I did get a lot of requests to show you how to make a regular perfume with an alcohol type base. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you just how to do that. Also in this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you why certain things don't work for perfume bases. So while I show you how to make a beautiful perfume to use on yourself, gift or sell, I'm also gonna be demonstrating for you why certain things don't work as bases for perfume. As for my perfume recipe today, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave all of the details to the recipe in the description box below, along with links of where you can purchase the perfume base and things we're gonna be using today. If you would like the full written detailed tutorial along with percentages and the recipe, I'll be publishing that over on my Patreon campaign. Please head on over there where you can unlock that tutorial and recipe for just a $5 pledge. I'll go ahead and leave the link to my campaign in the description box below. In this new year, I really hope you'll consider joining my campaign along with the over two and a half years of archived recipes that you can unlock for just that one $5 pledge. There are three other amazing tiers, each with their own special benefits to take advantage of. I hope you'll head on over there and check it out. All right, let's make some perfume. Okay, before we get to the actual recipe and tutorial here, I wanted to share with you a little bit of a science experiment so you can see why certain things don't work while you're making perfumes. Um, there's a lot of information out there on people using vodka or straight rubbing alcohol for your perfume base. And while it is slightly effective, it's not 100% effective and I'm about to demonstrate why. So in this container here, I have 99% rubbing alcohol, which means it's 99% alcohol. And then in this container here, I have gin. I have a 47% alcohol, 94 proof clear gin. And the reason I'm using gin is because I didn't have any vodka or any other clear type of al alcohol that has a high alcohol percentage to it. And then this container here, I have an actual perfumer's alcohol base. And then this one I got from Voyager Soap and Candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you through how I'm adding in my fragrance oil to make a perfume with each of these and talk to you a little bit about why one is more effective than the others and so on. Okay, so we're gonna to attempt to make perfumes out of these three different types of alcohol. And the first one I'm gonna show you is the 99% rubbing alcohol. So the reason people like to use alcohol as a perfume base is because alcohol acts as a solvent. So it's gonna combine with the fragrance oil or essential oil that you're using, and you won't get a lot of that separation of the waters and the oils. However, not all alcohol is created equal. So first things first is we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance oil into the 99% rubbing alcohol. Each of these containers holds 20 grams, yes, 20 grams of alcohol, and we're gonna be adding in our fragrance oil at 20%. And so what we're doing is we're gonna be adding in this beautiful vanilla lace and pearls to all three of these so I can show you just what it looks like to try to mix this up. Now, first of all, might I just say when you're making a perfume, rubbing alcohol is off-putting because it smells like rubbing alcohol. And that, that smell never goes away in your finished product. So even though you're gonna see, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my drops. So I'm adding in my vanilla lace and pearls in at about a 20% fragrance load. And that's about 40 drops here. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. thing we're going to do is go ahead and add in our fragrance oil to the 94 proof gin. 
Now again, typically people will use something like vodka or Everclear. However, this is the alcohol that I had available and I just wanna show you for demonstration purposes what this looks like. Again, I have experimented with vodka and Everclear in the past and personally, um, I'll show you why it doesn't really work that well. And then I'm also gonna share with you why I don't like it because you're still getting that finished kind of smell of, of um, the type of alcohol that people consume, which I find to be off-putting in a perfume. I don't think that ever really goes away. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our 40 drops. Okay. We're gonna give that a stir to combine. And as you can see, right away, we're getting these beads of fragrance oil because the gin does not have as much alcohol content in it as the rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol is 99% rubbing alcohol, so we're gonna get a lot more of those solubilizing solvent type properties. So as you can see, in a vodka with around the same proof of alcohol, this is what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a really, really good stir. See if I can get this combined. Then we're gonna leave it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in my 20% vanilla lace and pearls into my perfumer's base alcohol. This has a high proof. This is a very high proof alcohol, but it's denatured. So it doesn't have a smell to it. It's practically odorless. And it also is not gonna get anybody sick. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a clean spoon so I don't mix in any of these other things into my perfume base here. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a good stir. Okay, I'm gonna allow these to sit for a little while and then I'm gonna bring you back to show you what they look like in just a few minutes. Okay, my three perfumes have been sitting now for about 10 minutes and I wanted to share with you my findings. So here is the 99% rubbing alcohol. As you can see, it acts as a pretty darn good solvent for the beautiful fragrance oil and we don't really have any separation of the alcohol and the fragrance oil. However, the overpowering smell of the alcohol is so strong, I would never want to use this as, an, as a perfume base. And then to remedy that strong smell, sometimes people will add water to their alcohol to dilute the alcohol um, smell in the finished product. However, if you add water to this product, you're going to get a solution that looks something like my middle one here, which is the one that I made with the gin. And as you can see, my fragrance oil is binding and collecting itself down on the bottom, and it's only partially solubilized because we only have 47% alcohol in here. So what's gonna happen is oil and water don't like each other and it's not gonna be all the way dispersed. So if you, if you can see that, you would have to shake this up really good every time before you use it. And again, you still kind of can smell like an alcohol to it, which I don't like. And I think that's true when I've experimented even with different types of alcohol like vodka or Everclear. It's kind of the same thing for me. Some people will say to let it sit for two weeks and um, mature, and even then it's just not my favorite type option. So if you added water to the alcohol to dilute some of that rubbing alcohol um, fragrance, you're gonna get this type of situation going on where you have some, you know, uncombined oil that doesn't like the water. Okay, last but not least, here is the one that we made with the actual 
perfumers alcohol base. This is what people who make perfume, they use an, an alcohol base, a perfumer's base, a denatured alcohol. If you wanna use, if you wanna make that type of perfume, the type that's an alcohol base that you spray on and you want it to be kind of a professional type product, this is the type of stuff that you're gonna be using. It smells fantastic. You don't have that finished alcohol smell to it. And I think it even starts to smell a little bit better in my findings a day or so after you've made it. This particular base can take up to 30% fragrance load. So if when you're making a perfume, that's definitely something to consider because you want your perfumes to be a bit on the stronger side, not like a lotion or a body mist spray. You want, you want your perfume to have some fragrance power to it. So this can take up to 30%, although you do wanna take a look at whatever fragrance oil you're using to make sure you know, if you want to use that max load of 30%, that your fragrance oil is safe up to that, skin safe up to that. The one that we use today is skin safe up to 80%, the vanilla lace and pearls. However, I like my perfumes to be right around the 20% range, fragrance load range. I like that. Um, I just like the way that that percentage comes off in a perfume. It's not too strong, but it's definitely noticeable. So the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and just pour our finished product into this cute little spray bottles. Um, I got these from Berlin Packaging, and I'll go ahead and leave a link to these cute little bottles in the description box for you. But you just have to be careful not to fill it past that little lip right here, because then you get the perfume likes to spill over when you put the lid on, it gets overfilled. So there is number one. I also thought these would make excellent um, hand sanitizer, little hand sanitizer spray bottles for your purse, but I like the long and skinny ones for perfume as well. And these are frosted. As you can see, my mixture is crystal clear. So with these little spray bottles as well, they take about a quarter ounce or 14 grams. So let's see how much more we have to fill. This one may or may not fill all the way, depending. Let's take a look. Looks like we're gonna get it all the way full. Perfect, with just a little bit left over that I'll put into another container. And there it is. And I'll go ahead and demo this cute little spray bottle so you can see how it works. But basically, you're just going to put the perfume on your pulse points. So either your, your wrist, it gives a pretty good spray, your wrist or like kind of in the nape of your neck area. But these are just wonderful. And I really, really like this fragrance. As you guys know, you see me use it all the time. So that concludes today's video. That is how you make a beautiful perfume. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to leave a comment or question below, share this video with a friend, and subscribe to my channel. All right, catch you on the next video. Bye, everybody. Keep shining.